Hello, welcome to Handsome Griffin's Vocational Series in MATLAB Tutorials. Today we'll be looking at MSER Max Stable Extreme Norwegians and the function is available in the Computer Vision Toolbox. So this will be a guide, not a very technical guide to MSER and how it works in MATLAB. So first thing up, a lot of the stuff I got was from uh, that website there, just to be clear about it. So that's from uh, that Italian website, just to say that. So first thing is what what are we trying to do? So I've read in this image, I've he heavily commented, so we've read in the image uh, that well-known book, Multiple View Geometry, and we're trying to detect an extreme region or a region of interest in that G. And we've taken it at various uh, perspectives, various affine transformations, and various grayscale images. And we're trying to be able to detect it no matter what perspective, no matter what affine transformation, or what um, grayscale was there. So the general idea there, you start from a low, a low intensity extreme point and you keep growing it until you get to a, a region boundary and then it stops. And how do you detect it in the first place? You know, Harris detector, Harris corners detector, or something like that. Something where there's a border. So, screw that on a little bit. And then that idea is enhanced for the maximally stable extreme regions. Now, I have heavily commented, but if we look at the images, it might give us a little better idea. So, I forgot to give credit for this, but this is from a US website. So, we have three different thresholds here the threshold of 0.2, and then the region of interest is the 1. We have a threshold of 0.4, that will give us the 1 and the 2, so they would be connected. And then we have a threshold of 0.9, and a threshold of 0.9, and um, everything is connected. Now, that's just to give connected components above all thresholds, so that is an extremely minimal region. Okay, so we just go over that again. And it's point 0.2, it's all the points over point 0.2 that are connected. So just the one there. We have point 0.4, we have these two will merge each other, the one and the two, etc. Now, so so we have it there, just some extreme region properties. Not going to read it line by line, but we want them stable, invariant affine transformation, etc. etc. Uh, just one thing here if there, if there's a shadow coming across it or some weird lighting effect, it don't work. Now, when you're doing this for real, you can do a series of thresholds from white to black that's going this way or you can go from black to white okay and so you apply a series of thresholds and you want the most stable one and what do we want by the most stable one i have i might skip that one just a sec so there's another one so we have there we're looking at the k on the muesli and we want to detect that. So the region of interest. Now, I'm not too sure which one it is. I mean, whether it's 135 or 165 or 195. But of those potential three, we would select the one where the growth is slowest. The growth in area is the slowest, the most stable. So there's three possible runners there. D, E, D, E and F, and we would select the one where the the black, 
where it's the lowest growth, it's the most stable. So that will give us. Uh, just to go back there, I that image there, the series of the buckets which MATLAB like, and that's from that's there. So you might like to read that yourself, and they do it by a series of buckets. Uh, uh, but just I think that's better. But look, everybody has their own viewpoint. In fairness to MATLAB, uh, they're doing this that series of buckets that they do in their website. That's the more technically demanding of the simpler ideas because you have this connected tree and you want the connected tree sitting on top of each other. But yeah, if you want to do that, you can go and look, look up the research papers. So we go on a little bit. We read in the cameraman. There's the magic sauce. We detect the MSER features. And then I just, when I ran that, I just said regions, and you can see we get 101 possible regions. So there's a count, a location, the axis, the orientation, and the pixel list. That's there. So that would be, we look at there, or there, whichever you want to look at. But there's 101 uh, maximally stable areas. Uh, MATLAB. When you do the plot, show pixel is true and show the ellipsis as well. So we've not, we're not showing the ellipsis first time, but we are showing the pixel list. We get the pseudo color range showing the uh, possible uh, MSERs. And then there, in this one, I plot uh, the regions, the ellipsis and the centroids. I hope that helps a little bit and just to recap what we're trying to do is we're trying to find areas of interest and you know for later on this would be we want to find areas of interest say if you're doing a montage and you want to stitch together the various uh, overlapping um, corners or windows or whatever but we have to detect the corners of the windows first and how we're going to do that by using uh, MSER. Okay so hope that helps a little thanks very much for listening.